Hi everybody, I'm Zena. I'm in 8th grade here at Tazem, and today I have the opportunity to interview author Neil Shusterman. Welcome, Neil. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. So, I know that you've traveled to a lot of international schools, but do you know which one is the longest continuously operating in the world? I, I have no idea, but I, get, I think this is a trick question. <laughs> I think you're completely right, but you <laughs> have spent a couple years there yourself, so... Oh, oh! You mean at uh, at the American School in Mexico City? Exactly. I didn't know that was the longest, <laughs> and I even went there. I didn't even realize that. Exactly. Huh. How did being an international student influence you? You know, ha having an international experience really does change your life. Right. At my twenty-year reunion, this was a like the biggest reunion where they had everybody come back from all around the world. And one of the things we noticed was that everyone, in whatever they their chosen profession was, was very successful. A lot of it had to do with having that international experience. When you, when you come to see yourself as a citizen of the world, it feels like there is, there is nothing that is out of your reach. Do you have like, a piece of advice that you'd like to give to like, young readers, writers? There's, I mean, there's four bits of advice that I like to give. One, if you want to be a writer, you have to write. You, know, you can't just talk about it. You can't, uh, you can't stop doing it because you have writer's block. You know, write one thing and then write the next thing and then write the next thing. Rewriting most important part of the writing process. Nothing's ever done the first time you write it. If you want to be a writer, then you need to read. And read all different kinds of things. Read outside of your comfort zone, because that's what makes you a well-rounded reader and helps you become a well-rounded writer. Right. And persevere. Sold my, I never sold my first book. Right. It, it was my third book that sold. And if I stopped anywhere along the way, I wouldn't be published today. But you just have to keep at it. If you could meet one of your characters, what would you say to them? I would say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you through all that, but hopefully by the end you've grown as a person because of what you've been through. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think my characters wouldn't like me very much because of all <laughs> the stuff I put them through. Do you ever like just read your book reviews like online or? Like, all the time. All the time. All the time. The bad and the good ones. The bad and the good ones. And of course it's the bad ones that stick with you. Yeah. You can have a million great reviews and it's yeah. that one person who didn't like it that sticks <laughs> with you. Do you have like a hero that you look up to or just someone that kind of inspires you? You know, I am most inspired by my son, Brendan, mm -hmm. who, uh, he, you know, he has struggled with mental illness since he was 15. And the Challenger Deep is inspired by his experiences. Mm -hmm. And you know, you hear a lot of negative stories about people struggling with mental illness and stories that don't end well. And his is the opposite. His is, is a success story. And he's my hero. Hmm. Has any book ever made you cry? I get very emotional while I'm writing. You know, writing is a lot like acting. You sort of have to become the characters while you're writing. And so you feel the emotions that they're feeling. I heard that you were a camp counselor when you were younger. Uh, yeah. What was your like favorite thing or like, just working with the kids? It was telling stories. Everybody, you know, is, you know, sitting on the edges of, the edges of their seats waiting for your story. <laughs> and I had to come up with stories that were worth telling. And that's what got me into writing stories for teenagers, was those stories that I used to tell. Do you have kind of like a surreal moment that you remember from your career that just kind of like impacts you? The thing that comes to mind was winning the National Book Award. Yeah, of course. I did not prepare a speech <laughs> because first I thought, I, I, well, I thought it was presumptuous to write a speech for something that I didn't know that I had won. And as they're about to announce the winner, I thought, I have no idea what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. And they announced that it won. I went up to, to the stage to accept the award. I just, you know, spoke from the heart. Yeah. And I saw Brendan beaming in the audience. And I said, you know what, Brendan, come on up on stage with me. This is yours as much as it is mine. And he mm -hmm. came up and we accepted it together. And that, that, was, that was the greatest moment of my career. How has your family influenced you or impacted your writing career? When you're a writer, it's not like you, you go to work and you come back and you leave your work behind. Mm -hmm. Being a writer is who you are. Mm -hmm. And so it influences your family life and your family life influences your writing. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with characters, titles, all the special details that make a book? You know, characters kind of grow in the course of writing the story. You know, you, you, it's, it's like meeting somebody new. You don't know them, but as, as as time goes on, you get to know more and more about them. You get to know more of their, their backstory and you know, what motivates them. Do you have somebody in your life that kind of started your path to writing or showed you what it was like? My elementary school librarian, my ninth grade English teacher, right. 
uh, first professor I had, writing professor I had in college, uh, all really supportive and made a difference. Mm -hmm. What is the hardest thing about being an author, writing a book really, the whole process? The, the hardest thing is trying to find the story that matters. Right. You know, when I first started, it was all about telling a cool story. I was just having fun with the stories. But as time went on, and I, I want to do something more than just tell a good story. I want to tell a story that makes a difference in the world somehow. And finding those stories that, that are compelling and, you know, to, to writing a story that people will come up to you and say, this book changed my life. Mm -hmm. Those are the stories that I try to get to. And, uh, and it's a challenge to find those. But when you find it, you know it. When you, when, you, when, you, when you realize you have a story that, that will make a difference, it, and, and that motivates you. Thank you so much for talking with me today and giving me the opportunity. This has been such a great experience. Do you have any closing thoughts you'd like to share? Well, thank you. I've really enjoyed being here. And uh, to the students of Tazem, I'm really happy to be here. I'm really enjoying Oman. And uh, keep on reading. And I promise I will keep on writing.